and I'm happy to announce that the script organizer tree is finally live. And if you're not aware, what is it? It's the most advanced code editor for the WordPress. Let's start with the showcase what we did in a uh, version three. One small uh, feature or the update we introduced is the coloring the rows. As you can see, once it's uh, activate, uh, everything becomes bluish. There is a small line on the left and we ditch the zebra style. So it's easier to understand which one is uh, active and which one is uh, not active. Okay, let's jump into the editor mode to explain what we did. And as you can see, it's a total revamp. Uh, inspiration was from the Visual Studio because we're using the Monaco editor that is also uh, included in the, or it's powering the Visual Studio and it's based on the Monaco editor. And then on the top uh, bar, we have the inspiration from the Gutenberg as well. So let's uh, start. If you are replacing or pasting some code that needs to be in the functions PHP, that's the everywhere. Uh, if you need to have some code that, that is going to be triggered only uh, in the once you're logged in or in the dashboard and for the conditions, uh, if you need uh, header, footer, PHP, or the shortcode, you need to set the conditions. And once you set the conditions, you will get the header, footer, PHP, or the shortcode. Okay, we for now need only the header, and we're going to work with the CSS. Uh, we need to create the file. If you don't create the file, it's going to be as an inline style. Okay, and then we can choose the home. We only want to target the home. You can also target the page, post, taxonomies as well. Okay, home. And you can also, uh, by the default, it's going to be entire day or you can choose which days you want to trigger it. You can also choose uh, from which date it's going to start or also date range from, from, date, from date to date. Okay, let's go to the daily. Also, there is a time. Uh, you can uh, set it from three to five only or during work hours or something like that. And then we have a scripts manager that we are going to use later in the tutorial and uh, partials uh, manager as well. Okay, let's give it the title home as we are going to edit the home and let's publish. And uh, the first tab, the script settings, is the settings when the script is going to be triggered. Then we have a global page settings this is uh, about publishing. You can add uh, the tags and you can switch easily or fast between the code blocks or the partials as well. Uh, on the bottom, we have the light and the dark theme and also we have the focus. So it's going to remove literally everything and you have the command S to save it. So you don't need anything uh, else. Let's now jump into the project to see what uh, with what we are dealing. And as you can see, we have the home page and we have uh, some elements repeater below. Then we have a project, we have a repeater, and then it's a style sheet and also list of posts. And uh, just to display this one, each repeater have a card and inside the card there are a couple of elements. It's also on the project as well. It's also a card and some elements inside. And 
we want to have that uh, home cards are different than the project cards but uh, we we, also, we still want to use or reuse some part of the card and the rest of the CSS is going to be repeated but we don't want to include uh, some home page uh, CSS into the project and vice versa because when the project becomes or the scale it's uh, going to be much uh, harder to load so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create uh, or enable the partials manager and we want to load breakpoints I'm going to show you soon what the breakpoints are there is a, a card and there is a layout as well and let's open them and see so in the breakpoints uh, I created a mixing for the breakpoints and we don't need to use on every code block so we can just include it and uh, we can reuse it okay then there is a card so there is a mixing for a card as well and we are going to use the oxygen color but I'm going to dive into that later and there is a layout so we have the set the container and the header as well okay so let's go to the home and we see that we included those then let's open the home sorry uh, for the CSS to compile it needs to have something so we can even write the comment and after we update it it's going to be compiled and as you can see we have the header styling we got the container as well and let's uh, just I can copy this one so I don't need to write the code from the scratch perfect so what we are doing we have the just a second I'm going to show you we have the features and that's the wrap that is going to wrap the cards and that's going to be a grid and then we have the gap the margin and then there is a we are including the card style and we are changing the border it's different than on the rest okay Just a second let's update it and voila okay let's now uh, move to the projects and as you can see it's the CSS is not loaded at all because we targeted only the home okay let's move now to the projects and as you can see that uh, everything is falling apart because the CSS is not loaded at all what we did uh, with the homepage CSS we targeted only the homepage and it's not going to be displayed on the projects so let's jump to the projects and uh, let's load the partials again and you can see how it's easy to reuse the code so we don't need to uh, write it all the time and I'm going to uncomment this one and let's see what we have perfect we already have something and as you can see it's not responsive so let's uh, include the breakpoint and let's maybe switch to the lighter theme so it's easier to follow and you can see how easy it's to just toggle it let's test this one and okay now the client told us that he don't want to have the borders of any of the cards so let's fix this one easily so we can just go to the partials card and we can uh, just change it here 
and it's going to be replaced everywhere where we included the card uh, partial so you can see how powerful it is and also let's for example add the background color light blue let's go to the home and you see why it's uh, so useful to to have it okay for the last example i found this uh, nice nice example on the code pen and what i did i paste uh, this entire css compiled from the ss so let's check it here so sorry here and then I, I paste everything. Uh, just a second to open this one. Okay, perfect. What what I did is uh, I recreated the HTML based on this one. And if we go to the style sheets, let's see. Uh, style sheets. Yes, sorry, I comment everything. Or it's easier if I just paste it. Again, perfect. Let's preview it, and you can see with what we are, we are dealing here. Okay, uh, I want to showcase now this feature from the scripts organizer. Now it's possible to edit the oxygen style sheets as well. So let's just test it. Let's kill the responsiveness. And close this one. Refresh. As you can see, it's already working. It's not the best example, but uh, you can see what we are dealing with. But uh, you can see how much uh, easier is to read the code from inside the scripts organizer than in the oxygen as well so let's uh, see what else we can do we can just uh, even comment everything and see as you can see it's working and uh, also uh, here we have the autocomplete we have the emmet as well and it's much easier and also I want to point that every time you save it the oxygen CSS it's uh, regenerated as well also uh, color we are getting the oxygen uh, global colors as well you save it you can see that it's uh, working so uh, I hope uh, I didn't uh, miss anything and you enjoying the features that uh, we are providing for, for the scripts organizer.